Welcome to the FedNAR project. We enable the efficiency of learning from errors in real actions without the risk of their dangerous consequences. We still provide the experience, but only using augmented reality, adding virtual elements to actual reality. While pure virtuality offers us as developers and teachers full control over the world, offering great learning opportunities, hands-on tasks, like many of those in vocational education for industrial machines, are still best experienced in actual reality with all our senses. Hence, we want to perform real actions, but only suffer virtual consequences if we make mistakes. Our FedNAS system thus needs to perceive the real world and react accordingly. For this, we use experimental digital twins. Their state is continuously synchronized with their real counterparts, and simulation drives their virtual reactions. Our system focuses on operational learning and work tasks, and is therefore meant for training. The perception of real processes does not only serve to determine which consequences are presented, but also allows analysis of the performed actions and provides a basis for the post-task discussion of a learner and teacher. Real hazardous consequences are meanwhile prevented. If, for example, during the equipment of a CNC lathe, a drill bit is mounted incorrectly, our system visualizes the consequence. This principle turns errors from flaws into opportunities, increases safety while reducing the necessity of supervision, maintains real consequences for actions without errors, and allows automatic logging of work processes for later review. New cooperation opportunities arise between vocational schools and companies. For one of our use cases, we collaborate with a company that produces turned parts, so to visualize dangerous consequences, we need an experimental digital twin of the used lathe model. We create the digital twin by modeling the real machine and make the digital twin experimentable by adding some specific components like simulated motors and a control unit. Also, we federalize the machine by providing the system with learning task information using a PetriNet. This way, we can enhance the experience, for example, by coloring parts that are involved in a crash. We proceed similarly with our use case of an injection molding machine, where especially the produced parts can be faulty due to incorrect process settings, but also the process itself can contain errors. For example, high injection speed combined with high locking force can induce the diesel effect, which we can visualize exaggeratedly with an explosion. A partial work process that includes this visualization consists of multiple steps, as shown here. After an initial incorrect setup, the diesel effect is displayed to the worker, while the real machine is stopped to prevent damage and wasted material. The worker realizes that the parameters were set incorrectly, moves the machine to the starting position and corrects the settings. Another test run yields correct parts, in this case real and virtual ones. In this video, we take the role of the teacher and take an outside view through a second HoloLens AR glasses on what the trainee sees during the process. The picture-in-picture -picture view on the lower left shows the immediate perspective of the trainee. During the first run, the real machine gets an emergency stop signal from the system, and only the virtual machine continues working. This prevents the real machine from taking damage and saves some energy and raw material along the way. The trainee then manually resets the machine to its initial state, adjusts the process parameters, and starts a second run. As the parameters now don't cause any problems, both the real and the virtual machine produce parts. The virtual basket now contains a part with the teasel effect and a nominal part. Aside from learning scenarios of the real machine, using experimental digital twins and augmented reality allows us to train safely without the access to the expensive and non-portable machine. The second video of the scenario illustrates this.
On the left, we see the digital twin of the machine's graphical user interface. In the top center, we can observe the trainee working, this time without looking through a HoloLens. We thus only see the physical input for the machine in the form of a touchscreen with the user interface displayed. The top right shows a purely virtual view of the simulated injection molding machine, and the main view in the center shows the trainee's perspective. Again, he first produces a part after accelerating the molding process, which causes an error. <coughs> Adjusting another parameter then produces a nominal part again. The Fedinar system consists of a range of components, of which some are necessary for the working principles. The central computer contains the Versum simulation platform that drives the experimental digital twins. We also use an augmented reality HMD to present the AR consequences and to track the user's gaze and hands whenever necessary. A cloud platform serves as the source of learning tasks and to store data from their executions, which during the task are logged to an SQLite database. These components suffice for purely virtual tasks. Tasks that involve real machines, measurement tools, and dynamic environments require additional components. For such a real-world task, we used and implemented the industrial OPC UA machine-to-machine -machine interface for access to the state of the injection molding machine, MQTT to access measurements via smart tools, and marker and dirt detection via USB camera, all of which are attached to the simulation system that supervises the task for safety, logging, and to provide AR consequence experiences. And after this system overview, we thank you for joining this presentation. With it, we provided our contact information. Don't hesitate to reach out to us with any questions, requests, or ideas.